Welcome everyone to J Wolf Tech Broadcast. What I actually have here for you is another build, but this is actually gonna be more personal in that this is a system that I am actually personally looking to build here in the near future. Uh, right now I have my computer hooked up to my TV because it's in a good setup, but I'm getting ready to move. So I'm not gonna have that option anymore. So I'm gonna need something to be able to hook up to my TV for example, to play uh, FIFA, NBA 2K, uh, to stream any type of uh, HBO Go, Netflix. It just works a whole lot better when you have an Ethernet cable hooked up to where you can get uh, easy 1080p streaming on that. Uh, Chromecast works great, but a lot of times it only does it in 720p from what I have found, and I have somewhat decent internet speed. So what I'm actually gonna do here is build a system for myself. Uh, it's going to take me a little while to do that, so that's something to keep in mind. It's not something that's going to be built extremely quickly, but I will. I am planning on doing a build guide on it, so stay tuned for that. My budget is $500. I already have a copy of Windows uh, 7, an extra one, so that is not going to be included in the price point. But this is an under $500 system that's mainly going to be focused on 1080p gaming and it may be jumping into 1440p. Uh, if I ever get a 4K TV and I want to jump up to that. So let's jump in and see what we got. I am actually in a good position in that I am about 20 miles away from a micro center. If you've never been to micro center, it is the place where you want to get your CPUs and motherboards because they have amazing bundles that you cannot get anywhere else. It's worth driving, even if you're a couple hours away, which most everyone in the United States is. I would definitely check that out. Uh, but what I actually have here is I went with AMD FX6300. This is a six core uh, processor. This is an older processor, but it's running about $90. And I actually paired it with the ASUS. Um, you can see the model number down there, M5A78L- got that. Uh, this is just a standard USB uh, three standard uh, motherboard. It does have um, four DIMM slots. That's why I kind of went up and got this one. But it's actually selling for both of these for $112. So the processor is going to be $90, and the motherboard, because it's a bundled, actually drops down to $15. So you're basically getting the mother motherboard for free. So that is my first two components uh, I'm going to do. If you're not within of a micro center and you can't get this deal, you're going to. It's going to cost you a little bit more. But honestly, if you need a CPU or you need a couple of them, definitely go to a micro center and, and pick those up. For the cooler, I went with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. This is the best cooler for the price point, and it is running us, I believe it's actually on sale for uh, $26. So you do have to do a mail-in rebate, but it's on sale right now for $26. Uh, it's the best cooler on the market, that and the uh, 820 Plus, which is also uh, gets really good, really good deals from time to time, but definitely pick that up if you're looking for a cheap way to cool your GPU. For the RAM, I actually kind of went overboard on this. But with the Corsair Vengeance, uh, the eight gigabytes for $43, $44. What I found is that for four gigabytes, you're really gonna pay close to $30 for that between 20 and 30. Uh, so I went ahead and got the eight gigabytes. This is well-reviewed uh, memory. It is highly regarded as some of the best value memory out there. So if you're looking for some cheap memory, that's the way to go. It also comes in four colors. Uh, if you want a different color, price point goes up a little bit with colors, but. No big deal there. Uh, what storage? I went with the SanDisk internal, the 128 gigabyte SSD. Um, I only with 128 gigabytes because really the only two games I play on my TV or NBA 2K and FIFA. I also play Civilization from time to time, but I can put all those on here and still have room left over. Uh, and speaking of that, if there's any other games I want to play on my TV, I'm going to need some more to put them. So I went with the Seagate. This is the factory for refurbished. Uh, hard drive over at Micro Center. I bought many factory refurbished hard drives from them and not had any problems. So that's gonna run us thirty dollars for five hundred gigabytes. Uh, if you can't get a refurbished one, you can get even a one terabyte or five hundred gigabytes for around this price point, about ten fifteen dollars more. But it doesn't bother me that it's factory re refurbished, and I was trying to cut as much as I could price wise. So for the video card, this is where the majority of my budget is going to go. And I actually went with the EVGA GeForce GTX 960. Uh, there's a few reasons why I went with this personal card is that uh, the EVGA is a company that I've had really good luck with. Uh, my last two graphics cards have been EVGA, my 780 that I'm running that I've had for a long time, I haven't had any problems with. It runs very cool. Uh, they have, they're one of the better build quality cards out there. Uh, they're just built extremely well and they're really quiet. That's one thing I like about their cars is that they're really quiet. 
and they have an H.265 encoder. That's why I actually went with the NVIDIA side of things instead of the AMD. This is way, this is so I can actually do some live streaming for my TV setup if I wanted to do that. Otherwise, I would have looked on the AMD side of things, but as far as I know, they don't actually have that right now. And I use that 8.265 encoder all the time uh, if I'm doing any streaming. It makes having a capture card really not necessary anymore. And for the case, uh, I tried to actually find a cheaper case than this, but I did want it to look a little plain. Uh, I wanted a cube case, but I couldn't find one that was uh, ATX. Found plenty of ITXs, but no MTXs. This is the Core Master N200, uh, and it is currently running about 40 bucks. It's a pretty good looking case. Uh, it's all black, which is something I was, I was trying to I'll probably hide this thing behind the entertainment thing, so you actually won't even be able to see it. Uh, it's an extremely good looking case for the price point. Uh, it's got a little fan there, so it'll help me keep my system cooler. Uh, I don't need a window or anything, and honestly, if I can find a cheaper case uh, that's more cube oriented, I will go that route. So that's uh, something to keep in mind, but that's what I'm going with for right now. Power supply with the Corsair CX500M. This is a fully modular or uh, semi-modular power supply, uh, 80 plus bronze. It's running at 35 bucks. This is the cheapest one out there right now. So far, my system says it's going to be drawing about 371 watts of power. I'm going to have plenty of juice left. If, even if I wanted to maybe throw in another graphics card that may be pushing it. But for 35 bucks, this is really the best way to go. Uh, Corsair's got great warranty support, uh, overall great customer service. Uh, I believe this is going to come with a three-year warranty, but I'm not positive. Uh, but that's what I got there. And that is going to put our price point at $504. So for $500, you are going to get a system that's going to be able to basically do anything you want on 1080p. And possibly if you wanted to jump into maybe some 1440p, you could do a lot of games on that. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the system so far. If you wanted to cut prices even more, throw, get rid of the SSD, get that out of there. Uh, I have SSDs in my current system and my laptop. And once you've come accustomed to it, you really need it. Um, but that's really it guys. Uh, you could actually probably throw a stock cooler on there and even get rid of the CPU cooler But I'd recommend spending the extra the extra um, You know $26 to get a better cooler. You can overclock that uh, FX 6300 uh, a little bit So that's it guys. Uh, if you would like to see more videos like this, definitely let me know um, That's it. Thanks. Uh, if you have any recommendations Let me know down below and I'll see what see what I can do I haven't bought anything yet and it's honestly gonna take me a little while to build it uh, but I'm actually going to do a build guide on it at some point whenever I get the, the funds. to. I'll probably get little components here and there and go about it that way. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you guys next time.